All right, I just want to do this quick blurb, even though I hit a brick wall. So over here, I have an HP T5720 thin client. Over here, I have a standard parallel ATA optical drive. Under here, I have probably the world's most dangerous modified standard AD power supply because, you know, bare wires, metal desk, and, you know, taped switches that are carrying 120 volts. But here's the point. Uh, typically, this has a 44-pin IDE header with the disk on module, so I typically pull the module out, install a hard drive. Hello, hard drive. And uh, I'm going to be putting Windows 98. So if we put Windows 98 into the world's most unsafe optical drive. We're going to go ahead and turn that on. You can hear the fan going. I've only got one hand to do this. Come on. Come on in. And we're going to turn the thin client on. But unfortunately, the ass bastard won't boot from optical drive. You know, here, let's just get out of that. So, one gigahertz processor with 500, 512 megs of memory. And as you can see, right now it's just a 44 pin IDE header plugged directly into my optical drive. All right, stop counting your memory, you jackass, and just fail to boot. All right, so there it goes, detecting the optical drive. Normally I'd have the other hard drive, but hey, boom. Just doesn't boot from optical drive. Got into the BIOS a few times and told it, hey, square dickhole, stop being a dry queef, it boot from ATA, just won't do it. So with this model, this method won't work. Doesn't mean it's failed, this just dead end.